the SGA is having like a, a LGBT hotspot. Um, it's basically like coming out and supporting the LGBT community. I think it's awesome. It's like it it shows that like LGBT uh, you know, students and and faculty, whoever can you know come together and like just have a good time. We're promoting LGBTQ, the community itself, and future events. Right now, we're handing out um, hawk talks and hawk talks about stress and healthy relationships. Yeah. It's just a way to have people in the LGBTQ community feel comfortable with themselves and who are th those who are considering of maybe coming out, just letting know, letting them know that there's a safe space here. Being a gay man, it means a lot that others are involving themselves in our support. <laughs> it was hard during high school because it's scary to come out and stuff and it's good to come to a school that's actually appreciative of the community. So I think it's a really good idea to expand your perspective and just be open-minded. It means a lot. I mean, less than 15 years ago, you could get fired for these very things if you were open about them in like a school space. I know a lot of teachers and educators that were fired for being open about their sexuality. That still happens. So the fact that, you know, I can come to school and be open about this and be excited about it and like take pictures with my friends and just, it's, a not, it's, not, a, it's not a stigmatized anymore, here at least, which is nice. Also, we're in Ybor, which is like a pretty gay place in general, so. I have a relative who's a lesbian and I know that the stress from holding that inside, it hurt her and it led her to self-harm. So this, it's a way to encourage people to be more open and accepting so that things like that doesn't happen to anybody else. We out here, they have somebody supporting them or their decision, their culture that they live in. I want you to be yourself around anybody, so if that's what makes you who you are, then be who you are.